Okay. Question on the mic! Alright, so we're gonna get Pools match on the way. <laughs> you can't hear it. We're gonna get Pools match on the way. Um, Question on Luna commentating Jocks versus Momo Ari for Pools. Oh, look at their faces. Alright, alright, okay. So, Sonic versus Lucas. Um, this should be interesting. I've actually seen this debut quite a bit, I think. I haven't have I done it myself yet. I don't know. I'm picking up Sonic, so um, I'm starting to understand a bit of what Sonic does. Yeah. So um, in a matchup like this, Sonic needs to get early percent game and then stay outside of PK fire range. Yeah, yeah. Because he can actually punish punish it on the barn. Sonic is one of those characters who can be halfway across the stage to punish something. Yeah. And I feel like that's just gonna shut down. Uh, Momo's options here with, with the PK fire and just his spacing tools. Oh, super sorry, my bad. Um, they're just keeping his spacing tools away, keeping the Sonic out, but Sonic is just going to be able to get in and just punish him for it. But Fortunately, uh, another thing that Joe's going to have to watch out for is when he decides to release Spin Mash through Luke to shield. If he doesn't get it, I'm pretty sure Momo will be able to up it on the action. So yeah. maybe uh, Joe might want to spring. Uh, to try and cover himself, but he has to know that he's hit shield. Because a lot of Sonic will autopilot up the following up arrow back here. Yeah. And that forward tilt for Momo just to stop the spin match there was actually really effective. So what a lot of people don't know as well is um, with the Sonic spin dash on shield, if, um, if you tilt the shield, it can never actually hit the player, so they'll always have to jump above. Yeah. So that's also the uh, Maybe we might see that. In fact, in general, most players don't shield angle. They don't. They don't yeah. tilt their shield around, it, even though it's. I mean, as a lot main, I'm forced to do it. But like, obviously, like characters like Yoshi don't have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but like, generally, everyone should be doing it because another thing that angling shield does is that, say, a, an opponent is trying to attack from above. If you angle your shield upwards, they will hit your shield higher up, meaning that you have more time. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, so like, yeah. If something is like. Say plus on shield. If they hit it higher up on shield, it becomes less positive on shield. Okay, yeah, yeah. So stuff like that. But, but that's generally tends to be more important. Something like melee. So like if Fox has a nair shine, you want to angle your shield up so nair hits higher up and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it still affects much more as well. Oh yeah, definitely. So uh, Momo taking uh, losing the stock um, to a back air quite early on, oh. catching the down smash. Uh, the last hit of down smash tends to be the weaker one, so yeah. it didn't kill Jocks at this even at this percent. Oh, Whoa! That was, Whoa! Oh, that was that cool. was so weird. That was so weird. Got stuck to the stage. And then that like, glided round. Yeah. Do anything. So back to uh, low percents, both characters. This is I think this is actually kind of really hard for Lucas. Like. Lucas is not safe on Sonic Shield. Like, just as we saw yeah. before, he, uh, Momo attempted uh, a Nair cross up and Sonic was able to forward tilt out of the back. Yeah. Sonic has out of the up Forward tilt, up air, you can cover both sides as well. So, yeah, it's def I think, definitely difficult. Um, what Momo needs to be looking for is just solely for the fact that wait until Sonic does something wrong. Um, yeah. Like, if he tries to land with the. Oh, wow! Really nice uh, edge guard. Oh, he went straight for the crab! Down for he, he, he recognized Jox was too far out to release spin dash, but Jox released spin dash anyway, and so Lucas just grabbed it. That's another thing Sonics have to watch out for. The distance in which they, they release spin dash is very important. It is a punishable move at the end of the day. So I feel like uh, Lucas right here could actually just get a single grab and get the up throw. I feel like he's in percent. So, it's just, uh, so if Momo could predict a spin dash cancel, he can just go for a running grab. Like here. Oh, up tilt. That's definitely adding on the percent. Just to firm up. Oh, forward throw. Oh, that would work because he's right at the edge it, as well. So, well played from uh, Momo. Lucas. Now what I liked about Momo is he was doing exactly what we were saying with the angling of the shield. Yeah. I noticed it several times, especially um, he would zare and go into shield and angle it down straight away. Yeah. Just in preparation for that spin dash coming in. 
the and uh, it's quite important to angle your shield up when when that hits shield to avoid spring. Yeah. So spring often pokes through shield, hits people on the head. Oh, oh wow, Momo Looking actually straight, straight away tries to push him off and yeah. get a cheeky back air. It wouldn't have killed, but it definitely would have yeah. scared Sonic. I mean, so Sonic's got a very, very good uh, out of spike option with the uh, spring, where he can just spring himself straight back up. So but... did you know Sonic's forward tilt is 14? That's really? crazy. When, when it gets both hits, it's like if he does that at close range, it's 14 percent. Serious? Like what was down for up it does what 19 at max? Yeah. So like 14 percent just a forward tilt. That's serious. That's absolutely mental. Yeah. So like should be abusing it. Like things like down till they do like six, seven, like it's all low percentage. You would expect it's you know sub ten. Yeah. So it's looking for that back air. Uh, moment just about air dodging for it. I like you can use that for a mix up for the up air as well. Um, oh, down throw. Down throw. Tyson looking for the down air. Probably looking for the sort of, uh, down air. Trying to lock him on the floor. Would have been able to take out there. You wanted to just smack him into the ground and probably land for another either grab or potentially up smash. Okay, what's the option? Ooh, he does spin Oh, he's shot. going round. Trying to rocket him. Not so effective with Lucas, but it does rack up a nice bit of damage. He gets a critical back air out of the spin dash. Very important back air. Because that 88, that's not too bad. But I have to say, exactly the same thing happened in game one. And Momo did manage to turn it around and actually, yeah. Oh, take another the game. thing that it's really hard for players to not do this, but when you see spin that charging up, it is important to not spot dodge. Yeah. It's, it's better to just hold shield. It is hard because like, you kind of want to spot dodge punish, but it's definitely not worth it. Usually. So Momo just getting that down throw up at her, uh, taking the stop, so it's back to low percent again. And as I said, this happened exactly the same way in game one, so hopefully Momo can. You know, turn it around again. I feel like Sonic's got the uh, the pressure here. And, um, truly managing to take those early kills. Nox is doing some very simple spin dash releases right now. Um, he needs to be a bit more tricky with it. Like he's not he's not really, like turning any of them around. He's not wave bouncing any of them. Yeah. Like one one neat tricky tactic is to like. Uh, do a running spin dash cancel turn around up air out of shield. Yeah. So like that kind of thing. Because like, I can really catch your opponent off guard. Wasn't a fan of how he took uh, spin dash off the wall onto stage there. So I feel like he was very unsafe doing that and uh, the moment I don't think he expected it, so Yeah, because he hasn't actually done it yet. So yeah. I, he, he could get away I feel like it might have been just a miss input, but uh, just needs to be worried. Just, you know, oh he won't be doing it. Yeah. Okay. Another thing that uh, a point made this morning when I was playing friendlies with Mystic as Sonic, he saw me walking back and forth. Even though Sonic doesn't have the best walk, seeing Sonic walk is like, like you never see it because like yeah. obviously they just spin dash cancel whenever they want, so they, they feel like oh I don't need to walk into shield, I can just spin dash cancel shield. Yeah. But like walking into shield is still good, and despite the di in, Game. he's Managed going to, to mix up his di. Up, yeah. yeah. Um, Momo still managed to react and fade inwards. Even though he jumped out, he faded in inwards in order to get the up air and take the final game. So that's Lucretio Luna on the mic. Thank you for watching and GG's to both players.